What about patients who have a normal BMI, normal triglycerides, but their LDL is still elevated, like 160? So this is a great question. He says he's a family uh, medical physician, he or she. Um, so this is a great question. So BMI has almost no effect on what your cholesterol is gonna be. Same thing with triglycerides. You can have super low triglycerides, super high triglycerides, and still an LDL cholesterol that is high or low. You can also have a BMI that's super low or super high and still have a high LDL cholesterol. The, 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 the cardiovascular risk, whether it's cardiovascular death, mortality, um, uh, strokes, heart attacks, whatever, peripheral artery disease, all cause mortality, tracks with LDL cholesterol. It does not track with BMI. We have large people and, sh and, and less people. Yes, eventually, if you are quite overweight, it eventually over time will exacerbate other conditions. And same thing with triglycerides. If they're in the extreme, like, you know, five, six, seven hundred thousands, you know, it can exacerbate certain things. But within that narrow range of just a little bit over normal down to very low levels, that does not track uh, with heart disease. It can give us lots of other clues to maybe have a metabolic syndrome or insulin resistance or things like that, but it may not. You know, a lot of times it doesn't correlate at all. So what we do in these cases is we just treat the LDL cholesterol. If somebody's done everything right, their BMI is normal, they've exercised, they work out, they eat a Mediterranean style diet, calorie controlled, all of that, their LDL is still 160, we just get them on the right medications, drop that LDL down to below the threshold for atherosclerosis, which is around 55 or less, and then they'll probably be fine.